God. Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and today we're only going to be doing one thing, and it's for Kasha, I believe that's how I'm going to say your name, that's opening up three heavy Neo Revelation first edition packs. A lot going on in first edition Neo Revelation. In fact, let's see if we can get a different artwork in there. We'll take out one of these mischievous and put in a, a Suicune. That way, at least you got three different art. Oh, wait, I already got a Suicune. Okay, let's make, get something different. There we go, Raikou. <laughs> got a Raikou, a Suicune, and a mischievous. A lot of really big pulls that you can get from Neo Revelation. You know, everybody wants to pull the Shining Gyarados or the Shining Magikarp. But, you know, if you're talking about Gem Mint copies, you, know, you have the Entei, the Suicune, the Raikou, those are all, you know, right at $10,000 cards. Then you have stuff like Ampharos and Blissey, and you, you really don't even know where the price would end on those just because we've seen such ridiculous prices on them. Even cards like Mistrevis are pretty expensive in this set. And then, of course, you've got ones like Ho-Oh, where everybody just loves, and it, it's basically a good pull, even if it's not in great condition. So there's a lot of potential here, and I'm hoping that Kasha gets one of them. Maybe two, maybe even three. We're down to, I think, seven heavy Neo Rev packs. We still have yet to see a shiny. Here we go. Let me put this stuff right here. Let me pull them out. Alright, so we have an Octillery, Slugma, Unknown Y, Goldeen. Rocket's Hideout, got that cool little Gengar on there. Apom, Farfetched, Swinub, Old Rod, Smoochum, and. Oh! oh <laughs> hit the Entei. Oh, nice. Oh, I got a nice swirl right there to the left. Now, let's look, see if we can find any print lines. You know, before we start going to that, let's just look at it and enjoy it for a second. I mean, you pulled one of the legendary dogs. In fact, I named my, one of my dogs after this one. Kind of looks like him, too. Uh, Entei. And where it's a dude dog. We'll look at the backside. Oh, that's pretty clean. Got, oh, you have a little white dot right there. So I got a little something on my fingers. It's not weird. But you got a little uh, white dot right there. And you see this swirl off to the left side. Uh, we do see a print line right here, unfortunately. Didn't, well, yeah, you can kind of see on the other side, too. Oh. Wow, still such a great card. Beautiful gloss on it. Like, the surface looks so clean, other than that one print line that I'm seeing. Oh, congratulations on that one. Let's slide it in there, and then we'll put it into a semi-rigid. Alright, we still have two packs to go, starting off with a mega hit. That's the cool thing about Neo Revelation. There's so many good hits, and there's actually, I think there's only 16 hollows. There's 14 regular plus two shining. So it's like over half of the hollows that you can get from Neo Revelation. You know, man, you're doing really good if you get it. Like, especially if it has the potential to get that PSA 10, which, you know, let's be, let's be real. PSA 10 is really tough. But your best chance to pull something like that is going to be from a pack fresh pull, and these are you know these are box fresh. All right, so we have Murkrow, Unknown K, Pokemon Breeder Fields, one of the best artworks in the Watsi era. We got Stantler and Mad Cargo, Shuckle, Staryu, Skiploom. Geodude, Goldeen. Oh, it is a, it is not a hollow pack. So we've got another set aside just in case. And that's what's crazy. Like this one, these were from a box, and all of them weighed. I've got the weight right here. Twenty point nine six to twenty one. So that's a little risky to think about, but we still have some extra right there to pull from. And that was a mystery. Let's see if we can get a. An Entei artwork out of here. Oh, there isn't another Entei artwork, so we'll go with the, another mystery since there's two of them left. That one, this was the original one that uh, you weren't going to get, anyways. So we set these uh, cards off to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
All right, so we have the Miss Drevis. All right, here we go. Shuckle, Skiploon, Geodude, Quillfish, Unknown K, got the Graveler, Flaffy, Rocket's Hideout, Zubat, <laughs> Goldeen again, right for the last card. Oh! oh! Oh, man, that stings. That's an Entei. Man, these I thought were going to be uh, pretty surefire bets for um, pulling the holographic cards. Let's go ahead and open up this Raikou. Makes me wonder, in you know, those lights, you know, what packs are lurking. Because these would definitely stand out weights. Okay, so Paris, Chinchow, Quillfish, Octillery, Mag Cargo, and Flaffy. Hopefully we won't see a Goldeen in that next to last card. We have seen three straight unknown Ks as well. Star you? Oh, it is a crow. It is a holographic. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, not again. But man, look at that. It's almost not even holographic. Look at that Crobat. There's like almost no hollow there. Which is, I mean, it's good from a standpoint of that, um, it'd be, it should be a lot easier to grade. But wow. Like, you can see it if you start to flash it. There's almost no hollow. And if you look at, like, the Entei, where it's, like, mega hollow. Let's look at the back side. Corners are pretty clean. I don't see... I see a little whitening in those top corners. You can kind of see the one right there. But not bad at all. That might actually be a pretty decent 10 candidate. That's like it's almost missing piece of a piece of the hollow. All right, we still have one more pack to go. Fit two already that did not. And these all, like I said, these were within 0 .04 grams of each other. All 20.96 to 21. All right, so we have this one. We'll do another Raikou. Since he, uh, he got some decent one. I'm trying not to rip the pack. I'm trying to start to rip there. Maybe it's just water Pokemon in general. That star you didn't, it gave us what a crow, but I can't remember what the first pack with the Entei was. I mean, that was definitely a way to start out the packs. So we've got Swinub, Old Rod. Let me just set them sideways just in case. You got me uh, paranoid now. Because I think in the last video we hit two non hollows as well. Got Bloomberry. Lantern, Golbat, the Murkrow, Shuckle, oh, you got Celebi, that's a pretty cool one, this one's missing a little bit of the hollow, it seems like, as well, it's kind of weird, like it's just around the Celebi, which I've seen this before where it's only a little bit, but you can see, like with this little loop right here, only like a piece of it is hollow. Yeah, that's, man, that's so strange. I mean, it makes it a lot easier to grade. But I'm wondering if they'll label it as like a printing defect or something. Because like that doesn't even almost look like the regular card. It makes me want to go compare it to another Celebi that I have in my personal collection and just see what it looks like. And there is two white dots right there, which is unfortunate. Because that front, man, without that hollow being there, I mean, the surface is always really nice on the Arev. So I would say that the, the front... I mean, you've got a good shot of 10 there. Like that Crobat, I think overall it has a good shot of 10. Then you see those two little white dots right there. They're not big, but you can see them. So I would definitely say the pull of this box, or this pack right here, this opening would definitely have to be that Entei. That's really cool right there. And then the Celebi would have to be after that. I mean, that that's always a good pull. You've got the, the Celebi, you've got the Ho-Oh. Lugia, all, you know, I guess they're legendary or mythical type Pokemon, and you've got the legendary dogs.
And then the Crobat, you know, he was, you know, he's definitely not in the same tier level as Entei or the Celebi, but it does have a good shot of 10, so I think that's that's always a plus. But anyways, thank you, Kasha, for letting us open up these packs for you here on the channel. And um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.